headshot through my defender. Heal up. Yeah, um, 1.5 is what most people wear in the DC. Alright, so... Oh man. You would just the trap as you are. Oh wow. Guess what, bro? How much skilter do you have on that build? Zero. <laughs> wow. That makes no sense. It does make sense because when you see the build, you're going to see why. It's a, it's a hybrid, it's a DPS hybrid. Got him down. Got you down too, buddy. Can we get the whole squad? Rogue agent neutralized. Cannon's fury. Got one down. Rogue protocol initiated. Oh, oh shit! I'm still, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still coming from the back. Like no, I was, I was in the area where the um, turret uh, you went rogue in the budget. <sighs> Take out bro. Alright, I need to get my swag back. I ain't played PvP in a while, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I swear these dudes think they sick. Down, boy. Oh. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. There you go with your shield. Immediate medical. Rogue hive detected. Thank you. Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Rogue drone detected. The boost is being taken by the enemy. Oh, oh, the, the trap, <laughs> the trap got him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, bro. Oh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> the skills ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. Get the supply drop. A friendly is claiming the supply drop. We're out of reinforcements. Got Can't you. <laughs> All right, my man. You have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Man. Rogue agent detected. All right, bro. All right. I didn't do anything. What is going on, YouTube? I am pissed. I'm upset. You know why? Because Massive had the audacity to nerf my precious sniper build known as Guillotine. The legendary build that destroyed anyone who would revert to their dopamine influence urges to pull out a crusader shield in order to get a kill the only way they know how to feed their fix. 
Oh, that's over with. Right here, right now. Gotcha. My vengeance and anger personified in this build, and it takes no prisoners. The Fortress. A build with such a unique concept from its description to its gear. I'm pretty sure this setup hasn't been fathomed in anyone's mind until today. You need to understand why I'm so stoked about this build, and you will soon enough. So just sit back and listen, because you're in for a treat. Okay, y'all. I want to briefly explain to you the inspiration behind this build I call the Fortress. Any of you remember Fallout? I'm sure a lot of you do. And how while exploring the world will come across hidden treasures, enemies and bosses, right? Well, there was one particular area due northeast of the wasteland that had a minefield. But that's not all. There was a sniper with a vantage point who would kill anyone who dared try to come his way. Eventually, I was able to find my way around to kill him and take the sniper he had. Such a satisfying experience and this was my inspiration for this build. The shrapnel trap is the minefield and the mantis is my sniper. It's the primary I'm using and the specialization I have is sharpshooter for obvious reasons. Now before you go saying that the trap isn't strong enough because it was nerfed and also this being a DPS build, just hold up because you might not be ready for this. The Mantis was used a lot with Headhunter, and for good reason. It was really strong with that combo. I like that talent, but after it got nerfed along with marksman rifles in general, the build I had with it kinda died. Which is why I'm so hyped about this, because I got that swag back. I feel so powerful again. With the Mantis, if the enemy in your crosshairs is not paying attention to you, that shot deals 50% increased damage. And every headshot kill refreshes the cooldown of the decoy, which is actually what I'm going to be using for my first skill. I don't think you all realize how effective this skill is. Like it was tailor made for the Mantis. Why wouldn't I use this? I personally feel like it works best in the dark zone. It also works great in PvE, but in the dark zone, it really fools your enemy. Seriously, it even still fools me sometimes. The decoy, once deployed, removes your nameplate so the enemy doesn't know whether you're rogue or not. So you can't tell. Also, if you're pulsed, the decoy lights up instead of you, so you could easily disappear around corners. I can go on and on describing the many tactics and strategies you can implement with this skill, but I suggest using it for yourself to get familiar with how it works. This secondary I use only if someone gets remotely close to me, an urban MDR with Rifleman, one of the best, if not the best, talent for headshot builds. With headshots, you gain stacks of weapon damage. It doesn't get much better than that, man. All right, y'all. What I'm about to break down for you in this build will bring everything together, so hear me out. I made sure to gather all the brand set bonuses that grant the maximum amount of headshot damage. This, by design, has allowed for a DPS skill hybrid. The three-piece groupos bonus is crit damage, explosive damage, and headshot damage, which I am all utilizing. So the chest piece is very essential to this as well. It grants multiplicative weapon and skill damage. Glass cannon can be used for either playstyle, but I'm using it for both. But you need to be careful. This talent will give anyone shooting you an amplified 60% damage, but you gain 30%, which is why it's called sacrifice. And it's okay, because you're not going to be in the front lines anyway. The damage potential here is insane with 50% damage from the Mantis, along with 30% from the Sacrifice. That's 80% you'll gain. That's not all either. You see that I have an Orali holster and a backpack has Vigilance. That's another 25%. So all together, it's 105% extra damage you'll deal, and that's without the Achilles Pulse. Now the gloves, knee pads, and mask are Grupo. As far as attributes go, you want to roll headshot damage and crit chance everywhere. There's a reason you want crit chance, and I went over that in detail on my 5 combat secrets video. So check that out after this because it also has some really great information you should know. The second skill I have is one of the best additions to Division 2 skill library. It has such great area of denial capabilities, and with my DPS build having no skill tiers gives me 9 traps. Now that's crazy. And because I have glass cannon and 3 piece grupo, the explosive damage and skill damage combined will have this skill dealing some pretty decent damage to enemies. So you now have a literal minefield that's not simply a deterrent but an actual threat that deals significant damage. Oh man, conceptually this build is lit and it's the same in practice. Although sniping may not be for everyone, I think that we can all agree that it's worth a shot with this build. I remember playing Summit on Legendary and immediately got rogue agents on that difficulty. I know this happened to you as soon as you hop out the elevator, 
rogue agent detected. I literally had the shrapnel trap in between me and them. They did not come close. That particular AI is smart, smarter than most AI, and they try to actively avoid danger. Usually, rogue agents just run up on you and kill you. Not this time. They respected the strat and got killed for doing it. And that's the build, y'all. It's a very great build by design and it's highly recommended you make this. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. And if you like builds from DPS all the way to skill, drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll see you in my next video. Be right out.